guys, welcome back to my homeschool channel. Today I thought that it would be fun to do a quick review and flip through of one of my favorite early elementary science books. I know for me when I'm planning for my new school year and I'm trying to decide which curriculum textbooks I want to use, it's really helpful to get a peek inside of the books and hear about the pros and cons from people that have used it before. The book I'm going to be showing you today is Life for Beginners. This is a book from Masterbooks and it's part of their God's Design series. If you're not familiar with Masterbooks, they are a Bible-based homeschool curriculum company. They consider themselves to have an eclectic homeschool style pulling from different educational methods but more closely aligning with like Charlotte Mason styles and Montessori styles with lots of hands-on activities and short lessons. They have textbooks for multiple subjects, including science, history, language arts, and math. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the book and show you some pages inside and point out some things that I loved about it and then a couple of things that weren't exactly my favorite, but how we worked around that. This book has three sections. Each section has 35 lessons in it and it covers plants, the human body, and animals. They do have a supply list, which is helpful to look at in the beginning of the year and kind of to plan ahead with that. But once you have that set, you can just simply open up the textbook and everything that you need to know as the teacher is included right in the lesson. One thing I love about this book is that each lesson is very short. It includes text for you to read right inside this textbook, so you don't need to purchase a separate teacher textbook. It's just all right here in this book. There are vocabulary words to trace in each lesson, scripture verses to trace in each lesson, and suggestions for hands-on activities, which may be coloring pages or like writing activities, but sometimes they are hands-on projects or crafts. One thing that I didn't really love about the book was how the student pages were laid out. Um, I didn't like how the copy work for like the scripture tracing and for like the the vocabulary words were right mixed in with the text I was using to teach. A lot of times when I'm doing this, I like to give my kids their papers and they can work on their copy work or their tracing or their coloring page while I'm reading. And this is difficult to do because you need this page to read um, and so they can't really fill in the words while you're reading. I also felt like if you were using this for multiple children, you would need multiple textbooks, which is a little overkill. So instead of having my kids do the scripture tracing or the vocabulary tracing in the book, I would just have them do it in a notebook. So we just got a separate blank notebook for them to use for all of the lessons. And I would write out the vocabulary words for the lesson on a chalkboard or a dry erase board, and then they would copy from there into their notebooks. When it came to the coloring pages like this or the word search pages, I would photocopy these pages so that each of my children had their own and they could complete it how they wanted and then stick it into their notebook. This is their beginner's version of the book, so they recommend using this for kindergarten, first grade, or second grade, and then they also have just a God's Design for Life for older ages, which makes it a great option if you have multiple ages and you're trying to do family style learning uh, for the science subject. I only use the Life for Beginners, so I don't have a review on how well they go together, but they mentioned in the beginning of the book that they can go together really well. You can purchase the God's Design for Life for your older kids, and then you can have the Life for Beginners for your younger kids. One thing I love about Masterbooks curriculum is that they're not simply Bible-based, but they include scripture and the gospel message in each and every lesson. So you will find a biblical worldview and foundation infused throughout all their textbooks, which makes them a great choice for Christian homeschoolers. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it was helpful to get a peek inside of this Masterbooks Life for Beginners textbook for your early elementary kiddos. If it was helpful, I'd love it if you would like this video and then head to the comments and let me know if you've used this book before or what you are planning to use for science for your elementary kids this coming year. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more homeschool content and for more looks inside of textbooks to help you plan your homeschooling year. Until next time, happy homeschooling.